uh, there was a code in Snatcher that you would input at Jordan, and uh, yeah. it made a little dingle, like the Konami code. And nobody knows what this code does at all. I mean, would you happen to know what this code is, or? <laughs> it just made the dingle, as far as you know? Uh, Ryan will have to fill you in. Yeah, you, you, you put in, you just type in Konami into Jordan, and it'll go doo 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 or whatever, and then, I mean, people have said that, hey, it, un it uncensors the game, but it really doesn't. So it just appears like it doesn't do anything. It probably doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, man. Is there any secrets nobody has found with Snatcher, the Sega CD version, or...? Um... I kind of doubt... it. Oh, I man. kind of doubt, I mean, uh... It's a very straightforward been, game, you know. And it's been well, out the, for sec a long the time. secrets themselves, I think, were, were laid out there pretty early on and have been floating around for a while. I mean, the different codes and stuff, the different phone numbers and stuff. We put all the staff, you know, in the the U.S. staff into the into into Jordan. Yeah. I remember asking, you know, asking the U.S. staff, okay, what's your likes and your dislikes and what's your nickname and all that shit. And you know, I put all that weird, funny dialogue about me and my cat in there. Yeah, because I just got a little a, a new kitten and stuff, and I was just goofing around. It's fun for me. I mean, I just wrote some. Just Sasaki, kind of... yeah, Sasaki, the guy in charge of it, just said, "All right, we got some extra room, you know." <laughs> well, I mean, was it like that in the original CD Romantic version? They... No, 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 no. That was all. That was all. And you know, and by the way, if you want to know Kojima's involvement, um, in Snatcher, uh, Sega CD, think zero, and you'll be. Overestimating, you know. I mean, he, you know, he was completely uninvolved. It oh yeah, we heard about that. Like uh, yeah. people keep saying. I mean, when we first posted our news post on the site, like we were interviewing Jeremy Blaustein, yeah, or Blaustein, or I'm sorry, yeah, Blaustein. Yeah, Blaustein. It's, it's amazing how many people are still crediting you for Metal Gear Solid Two and Three. Yeah, they're like, Dude, is this... that right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, am I happy about that? Oh no. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> And we only yeah. consider putting up a notice. This guy did not translate Metal Gear Solid yeah, man, Two. Please, I mean, really, I don't, I don't need the credit. I mean, uh, I don't know this Agnes S. Kaku person, but uh, I think the translation it didn't seem like it was done like you did it. I mean, and you even the said point that is, earlier. So, yeah, I mean, I because I look, I I bucked, I went against the the currents, you know, I, is what I'm. I guess I'm trying to say is that I cared a little bit too much about it, you know. Yeah. And, um, so in the recording sessions, you know, for example, I remember, in addition to Scott Dolph being sleeping on the, you know, on the couch, you know, sleeping there on the couch, and afterwards you'd hear this guy, you'd think he was fucking like in charge of the whole thing. The guy's a, the guy's, a, the guy's a goof. Anyway, um, this, okay. it, like the, I remember the ending scene, for example, you know, and uh, this other guy who came along, Hirano, um, who didn't even he didn't even speak English. Um, but he was there as, as Kojima's mouthpiece, and we're doing the ending scene. And I remember there was this particularly, you know, you know how sappy the scenes get with with Meryl, right? Kind of. Yeah. You got you to appreciate the fact that I I tried my best to tone this down as much as possible. The Japanese stuff was so over the top, smelly, sappy that you just would have vomited. You just would have retched. You just couldn't have handled it, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, we're doing the scene, and um, yeah. I don't remember. I remember Hirano was saying something like. You know, make it more, more sweet, more loving, or it's more sweet, or something. Saying like, you know, more, 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 and I'm and I'm saying, no, man, less, less, less. No, more, 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 more. I get gets on the phone and blah blah blah. You know, Kojima told me that he wants this line to be more, more, more. You know, and you know, and I, you know, I know that this guy, he doesn't speak English. He's not understanding where the actors are or where the emotional scene is at or where the player. You know, I mean, I totally know he doesn't get it. And so I, it starts to build into like a disagreement, and and then it starts to build into an argument. And I'm, I'm in culturally, I'm in America land here. I'm, I'm working to create a great game in my mind, and I'm not in Japan land, which is a place where you don't get into arguments where you, with your bosses. And uh, you know, it was a mistake I made, you know. Yeah, I mean, like, and I put myself on the line for the product, and uh, you know, I really literally have lived to regret. To regret that, you know. Yeah, I mean, everybody kind of wants you back from it, or you're solid. It's and, a bummer. Yeah. Uh, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like people who don't care for the games. They hate the games. They translate them, and and you want to know why the voice actors? Why all of a sudden the same voice actor in two 
why he sounded so fresh in one, but in two it sounds like he's doing a, 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 an imitation of himself. Or Whoa, why holy he just shit. doesn't sound <laughs> right. That's right? exactly you know what Ryan right? says. Oh yeah, you want to know why they just don't sound involved, or why they yeah. you know sound like they're going through the motions. And the answer is, as I've already alluded to, yeah. especially the older voice actors, the guy that's been there for 35 years, you know, standing up there in front of the mic, he's done this, that, and the other thing, and he doesn't care about the relationship between the genetic relationship between two clones and blah blah blah. You know, he's his hemorrhoids fucking hurt. And <laughs> he wants to get yeah. You know, <laughs> Yeah. What do you mean? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have eaten that taco. You're sounding a little gassy. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, we had this. I mean, sometimes you guys, guys are. I'm sorry. I'm on back medication. You'll have to be patient with me. Yeah. It's a horrible thing to direct these guys. And my point is that if you're working on a schedule and you're not on the ball, you have to really fight against. You know, you have to you have to struggle to get the best product you can get. It's a struggle. It's not an easy thing. So, you, and that means like stopping actors and saying, "Okay, you just don't sound like you're really into it right now. Pretend that this is your wife, okay? You know, and you gotta, you know, you gotta stay on top of it. But if you're making jokes in the booth and you're just, you know, woo, I'm getting paid seventy five an hour, you know, yeah, whatever, you know, it's not gonna come out good. And I and I know that those guys were just on autopilot. And you were saying, I heard you saying in your last podcast, Dave Hader. Um, paid a lot of his own money to get those guys back, and uh, I didn't know that, but it sounds right to me because I, you know, I, I got to know Dave a little bit, and I know how into it he was. Um, well, I mean, like out of all the voice actors in Metal Gear Solid One, uh, I mean, do you know why he, did, you know why that voice came out, why why he came out sounding like that? Hmm? Yeah, sure. Why Snake sounded like Snake? Yeah. I think he had a bad. Vo I think he had a, like a cold when he first did the voice or something like that, and he 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 could only go husky, Clint Eastwoodish, and then you know we worked out the snake voice and it was a new voice for Dave, and he had a great experience because he felt so like energized with confidence after Metal Gear Solid, it was like really important to him. And uh, well, I mean, like out of all the voice actors, are you saying that Dave was the easiest to work with, or? Um. I wasn't saying that in particular, but uh, I remember okay. him as being, um, he was, uh, I would say he was the most interested in the product. Yeah, he ended up, uh, well, there was a big clash in the voice acting community, union, whatever. He was the only actor to keep He used his original. own voice, his own name. Uh -huh. That's right. He was like, fuck it. I'm yeah, wasn't the name. first game, it wasn't union supported or something? Yeah, it was not, it was non-union. And everybody was, was using fake names and shit like that. Yeah. Uh, who was, who? Right. Who, out of all the actors that you worked with, though, who's the easiest and who is the hardest for Metal Gear Solid 1? Um, I remember... Um, well, I, 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 I probably should spend more time thinking about it, but um, I think one of the hardest to get motivated me, you want to know who sucked, okay? You want to know who sucked, okay? Sure. <laughs> All right. Who was the asshole? Who was the one that... Oh, no, I'm you want to know who sucked. All right. Yeah. Um, all right, why don't you tell me who you think sucked, and I'll tell you, you know, what uh, I think, you know? Uh, I mean, you, got, you guys have more of an opinion than I do. I'd probably say Jennifer Hale. Jennifer Hale. Who, who's she? Uh, Naomi. Naomi, yeah. She has oh, the same Naomi. voice for every character. It just it, yeah, when yeah, they yeah. redid the dialogue for Twin Snakes, she was just completely doing it monotone. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She made no impact on me, and I don't even remember. So, um, <laughs> but uh, I'll tell you this: um, Meryl's voice was quite a bit huskier than I had the intention of. Uh, yeah. Didn't she, she have was... a really husky ass voice? Yeah, I knew. She sounded like she was 20 a bit years manish. old. Like, no, not 20 years old, kind of 18. You know, and at some point I, we just said, okay, all right, we can make this work. Yeah, husky, yeah. She can have a husky voice, yeah. 